I'm saddened by another case of abandoned babies. This time, a pair of twins. The twins' girl were found dead in a flat in Georgetown. Studies shown mothers abandoned their newborns for fear of repercussions, unable to face the problem, can't handle them, and also social stigma that they have to confront with. Statistics statistic show this is from a uh, 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 some time ago that in the first quarter of 2014, the total of 26 cases of abandoned babies are reported. This is in 2014. Welfare Department statistics shown that there were 472 cases of abandoned babies in Malaysia from 2005 to August 2010. Among them, 258 or 55% of them were dead when found. From 2011 to 2013, a total of 46 women were convicted for abandoning, abandoning their babies. Statistics, statistics also shown babies abandoned by Kakam, they just started them. Statistics also shown. Babies abandoned by mothers were dif the different age groups than the gender of abandoned. So, and sometimes it's not necessary they are unwed. They might have a husband. <coughs> in my humble opinion, no mother, no mother in her right mind would abandon her baby. The act is simply contradicting to motherhood nature. Thus, I opine that punishing the mother by discriminating them or putting them in jail does not help to solve the problem or serve social justice to the abandoned babies. As a mother myself, I call on all to have compassion on unwed mothers and babies born out of wedlock. We need to protect the newborns as life is precious and the mother too as a caring society. I urge all to distrain passing judgment on them, penalize them, and thus deny them a chance to start a new chapter in life for whatever mistake that they have made. After all, human beings make mistakes. Yeah? Perhaps it is time to amend law or to have law to deal with the biological father too, as often mothers are charged in court but not the men who have their share in contributing to the pregnancy. I also urge single women who are pregnant not to resort to abandon their babies, but place them in baby head set up by orphan care after de delivering them. Baby head was set up in May 2010, and a report by The Sun on 28 September 2004 says that orphan care would be working with KPJ Healthcare for a heart to provide babies hitches and KPJ branches nationwide. Often care license officer, uh, this is the name in the report, was quoted as saying over 50% of biological mothers who handle their babies to often care were students aged between 18 to 24. At present, often care operates in PJ, Selangor, Johor, Johor Bahru, Johor and Kota Baru, Kelantan. Often care receive up to 3,758 applicants for baby adoption. Since the foundation, a non-governmental organization that worked closely with the Women, Family and Community Development Ministry was set up in 2010, a total of 102 babies have been handed over to foster families, while 63 have been returned to their biological mothers. This was uh, according to the report in Sun. So in fact, welfare department will provide help to all these mothers. And also uh, several NGOs, even in Penang. <coughs> you can reach to the WTC. There's even a, a, a NGO that will take care of uh, pregnant uh, mothers <coughs> if they have no ways to go. So I think we do not, we would like to see a stop of a uh, baby being abandoned. Okay. Okay, um, do you have a solution also to uh, handle this situation? So Sarah, uh, I mean, I, I, I like to uh, uh, also uh, comment that uh, 
the um, the problem, uh, this kind of problem, kita terpaksa menanganinya. And um, selain daripada uh, we have these care centers, kita juga undang um, programs, uh, programs in hospitals, uh, and we also conduct programs in I mean community. Like every year, we have um, all the six, uh, all six agama era in Penang. We have this program called <coughs> Bankil Community Kualga. So this Bankil and this uh, education um, <coughs> program we do, we do is to educate um, the masyarakat uh, that uh, not to resort to this kind of um, action if they have problems like this. Yes. We have two centers actually, one on the main side um, and another one on the Batua side. Okay? And these centers are run by NGOs, uh, but centers belonging to Majlis Agama Islam.